This week we are packing our bags and we are flying to Ushuaia to embark on our boat for Antarctica. We are Nick and Mathilde and in 2022 we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender. Europe, the Americas, Australia, Asia and Africa. We want to see it all. This is day 588 and we are in Argentina. Welcome to the Next Meridian Expedition. Somewhere in the region of Patagonia. We made it to San Carlos de Bariloche. Uh, we arrived yesterday evening. We are sleeping at a Patreon place. We'll introduce you to him just later. We have two days left before we take our flight to Ushuaia. If you follow our journey, you would know that soon we should be embarking for the white continent, Antarctica. Get ready with us, we have a lot to do. We have a lot of shopping to do, a lot of fixing to do. Nick is at the garage right now. First things first, we don't want to leave behind any pending work on the car. And if you follow us, you would remember we recently played a bit too much in mud puddles and ended up with a soaked air filter. So our priority before leaving is to take care of that. So what we've noticed is that the pipe that goes from the snorkel to the air filter air box is actually just one piece, so it's pretty good. We need to seal properly each end and tap and close, actually seal up the drainage. Only last piece that could have water coming in is from here. This is classic, where this is where the air filter fits, it sits in here. And I have noticed in the past that these corners have been wet. All right, now we're putting everything back as it was and we'll be good to go. Everything has been sealed and uh, hopefully Albatross will not be leaking anymore. Job done. Let's go, Albo. Shopping and repairs done, we were looking for a place to leave our car, the Albatross, in a safe space. And we were extremely lucky to learn that one of our Patreon actually lived in Bariloche. We introduce you to Ulis and Andrea. Tonight is barbecue night. Hello Ulis, how are Hello. you doing? Very well. Nice. And he's uh, going to make an amazing asado barbecue. I don't know if the size of the chimney comes out well, but Uli is very tall and the chimney is huge. <laughs> if you follow our journey regularly, you would know that on this world tour, every time we enter a new country, we need to find someone from the country to put the sticker of his flag on our car. What a moment. So we have Andrea who is going to stick the flag. <laughs> <laughs> what a woman, no? Okay. Don't move. The best um, country, Argentina. Campeones del mundo. The hardest job is to make it straight. Okay. She's going well. Wow. She's going well. Yay! Perfecto. <laughs> we picked the right person for the job. Querido. Sí, en todos los países tenemos un recuerdo de una persona que pones el país como ti, Luis. Te recordamos para. Ay, qué tierno. Es por eso que nosotros no podemos poner. Es, estamos casi a la frontera por el próximo país. A la frontera que queremos a la policía, por favor. Aduana. Porque, porque... What is something about Argentina you hope people like us knew? We always talk about football and meat for Argentina. What else? What else? Yeah. Oh, that is a good question. <laughs> no stress. <laughs> no stress. The, um, we have uh, the Patagonia. Mm. And all the nature and all what you ha never will touch with a human. Ah, yeah, places yes. no one no, went before. No. And it is all big. Thank you so much, Andrea and Ulis, for having us and giving us a welcoming place to stop as we prepare to head for Antarctica. Warm hat. Like a beanie? Yeah. Okay, it's in the door. Winter gloves or mittens? Gloves and a small gloves on the door. Glove liners. Jeans, khakis, or fleece pants. Several pairs. All right. It's packing time for Antarctica. I think I have too much here, but I'm gonna start packing now. It's 
it took us a few hours but I think we laid down all of what we need for Antarctica. Antarctica, we are ready for you. Super excited. Let's do it. We have three challenges for this packing. First one, we need to fit stuff that are warm and waterproof, which always takes more space. Second challenge, we need to pack small. <laughs> we bought the cheapest flight tickets to Ushuaia and obviously we are allowed one backpack each of six kilos. So I don't know how we're going to make the six kilos happen. Everything needs to enter into two of this. And the third challenge is that we have things that we brought on our own trip, next Meridian trip, and that's what we have. So we have to make it happen with the clothes that we already have. The only thing that we did buy is those awesome pairs of gloves that Matteo is showing us right here because cold hand. No, 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 no. 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 I don't want to be cold. <laughs> I don't know if you remember the trip in Morocco, riding with a few guys uh, through the desert. One of them was Chris, and Chris is the owner of Matador. This is a travel gear brand, and they do tons of products which are very smart and perfect for travel, and they're usually all water repellent. I've had that bag that they've made in Boulder, Colorado. And they put the logo of Next Meridian on there. So that's the bag that's going to be carrying, well, most of my stuff, which is this side. So we're going to be technically packing everything in Matador gear. But Chris is also coming on the boat with us in Antarctica. So Chris, the owner of Matador. If you are interested in the amazing Matador travel gear, we put the link to our friend's website in the description box. Go check it out. Let's pack this bag for Antarctica. Nice. <laughs> Destination Ushuaia. So we arrived in Ushuaia finally. <laughs> Little stress right at the beginning. We forgot the computer in. Ooh. But Gabriel here did everything. To get it out. No, it was a teamwork. It was <laughs> teamwork, a teamwork. Teamwork. <laughs> Perfect. Now we're ready and excited, and we have everything with us. This is a nice change from Albatross, just for a few days. Nice hotel. Mateo. A nice bed! <laughs> that is huge. Our bed is 140 20. centimeter. 120. 120, and this one is... Twice uh, 120? Probably. <laughs> Anyways, this is pretty cool. So we're going to be two days at the hotel, and tomorrow we already embark on the ship. This is not everyday life on the road, but it's really nice. There's nothing like a good breakfast buffet. Mathilde is on the healthy side. I'm on the more greasy side. I was hanging around the breakfast buffet and I saw a sign that you can order mate. Mate is this typical Argentinian uh, drink. They have it also in Uruguay. It's caffeine based. It looks like this. Like you will see everywhere in Argentina, people walk around with hot water, the mate cup, and the straw, like this. Could, could you say it's like someone having coffee in Italy, kind of having it yeah. multiple times a day? Like all day long. Right. So first, you need to put the sherba, they call it, in the cup. So you put it and see it here. You want a powder, so you block the end, and I have all the powder on my hands. 
I put the straw that they call bombisha. Yep, right in there. And then a bit more water. Actually, from the hotel, we can see Chile in front. This is an island. And we can also see very, very small all the way there our boat. We're boarding the boat only at 4 pm, so now we have the full day to go discover the city of Ushuaia a bit and hang around. Yeah! Yeah! Now we need to go drop our bags because they're going to be brought on the boat directly. You guys know who this guy is? You know who JV is? No. No, you don't. Well, the Matador brand that we've been riding in Morocco with and now doing Antarctica with and who's giving us all this awesome gear is also coming with us <laughs> in the last <laughs> land, the fourth continent of our trip. Yep. What's up, man? Hey. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you too, Jamie. Wow, so good. <laughs> so this is Chris and Jamie and we're going to be together for the next two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. And we're about to get on the boat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What are you excited yeah. about? Mm, nothing. I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the penguins. Yeah, camping. No, the camping. Camping. Camping, yeah. camping on Antarctica. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the Us. penguins. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the bad weather in the Drake Passage. Oh yeah. Big uh -huh. waves. Right. Big waves. Seasickness pills. Yeah. yeah. Seasickness pills for oh, sure. Thanks. I'm excited about the empanadas right now, so Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go get it. <laughs> <laughs> now reunited with our friends Chris and Jamie from Matador, we go around visiting the city. We're walking around Ushuaia and we actually found this huge map of Antarctica. And out of the whole land of Antarctica, this is where we'll be going, the Shetland Islands. We will be coming around this kind of area. It's happening all very soon. Super excited. This is called the Antarctica Peninsula, but like, look the size of the continent in perspective. Whoa. We can actually see our polar latitude boat. It's called Sea Adventure. It's actually hidden behind one of the big boats here. Ours is actually the smallest one, right? Smallest when one. When I yeah. look at everything, it is. It we're soon going to see it and embark on it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything starts now indeed. As we make our first steps on this boat, we make our first steps toward the fourth continent of this world tour journey. To be sure you do not miss the adventures in Antarctica, subscribe to the channel and tune in next week. We are on our way to the white continent. We're going to find those penguins, we're going to find those whales and the binoculars so that we can find them from far. I see you. <laughs> One of my favorite things about this room, honestly, is every night I would come here and there's this thing called abrir cortinas, which means open curtains, and I would press the, I would turn it on at 7 a.m. and those curtains would just open. So now I'm going to close them, but technically these open, so automatically, these curtains would automatically open and then we'd wake up. It's amazing. Mm -hmm.